Alright guys, so it is Friday, so welcome back to another vlog. So this video is probably going to be extended all the way to maybe Wednesday or Thursday so I could put it up for Friday next week, but you guys will get the Miami vlog on Monday. Um, something's going on with my camera because the touch screen is not working properly. It's like stalling. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm probably going to have to take this camera to get fixed or to get checked. But honestly, I don't even have to use the touch screen. I could just use the button to go back and forth. So I'll do what it do, but I'll probably still get it like looked at and clean just because I'm like, what's going on? I also have to take my other camera in just to get it like refreshed because I kind of have, I'm having issues like resetting it. So I need to bring it in, make an appointment to get like a, a tech to go over with me, reset it for me for filming because I'm so confused. So I need to do that too with my other camera so I can start using that one as well. Um, yeah, so I am on my way to go pick up some patties for mom. You guys already know she wants her Haitian patties. So I'm going to go pick her up some patties. Then me and Dan are going to Roof Chris tonight for dinner. But I'm going to go get some stuff for our little party because I guess Javante is fighting tomorrow. My boyfriend and his friends like watching those stupid fights. So um, I need to go get some cranberry juice, some stuff at the Dollar Tree. You already know. Um, and yeah, some chips and dip and stuff like that and some liquor so we'll do that i'll get all that stuff i actually have my bike in the back but i'm going to take the bike out of my car and actually leave it in connecticut um yeah i think i'm gonna actually do that or am i going to i don't know because it's just crawling up my car and i, I hear i don't have we don't have a lock so we can't really lock it yet so i'm like i'm gonna go ride the bike in connecticut and then lock it up there and go pick it up next week when i go because you guys go to, you guys know i go to connecticut every week so yeah so it's 12 21 i told him i was picking these patties up at 12 o'clock so I'm a little late I do have enough gas to make it there but I'll have to get gas most certainly before I get to Connecticut so it'll take me about an hour and 30 minutes um yes yeah, so I wanted to say hi and welcome to the vlog made a quick trip to Dunkin Donuts because I'm super exhausted I'm not gonna lie to you guys I woke up today at 7 o'clock 7.04 I am exhausted. Went to bed last night around 11, 30, 12, midnight. So I need to get some coffee in here because I am like frozen now. So I did go ahead and get a cold brew black with two equals. So the patties are right there. And I gotta bring them to my mom, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and remove the bike out of my car, clear the car up, go get a car wash and do all that kind of stuff before I drop these off because my car is filthy so I need to take care of the car first. Okay, so this is what I got inside. I got two of the Clorox, two of the Lysol. I also got some Panasonic Alkaline Plus power batteries for my dildo. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. I also got some cleaning, multi-purpose cleaning um, spray for the car. Um, I got the... This is better than getting the little trees, guys, so I got the black ice. And I also got the new car smell. So these were only a dollar. And instead of getting this stupid little thing like this, you can just go ahead and get the spray. The spray is powerful. I just sprayed my car and it smells so freaking good. So we're off to the start. I'm going to get the car washed. I'm going to go to, you know, clear everything on the back after I'm done. Make, it sh make sure it's nice and clean. So I'm super hype about that. What is he staring at? Mm -hmm, get over there and start cleaning that up. So... We're at a hotel right now, so we're going to Roof Chris at a hotel. <laughs> Look at Dan. This is Roof Chris right here. We even put heels on, even though it's at a hotel. The Marriott. How far was Manhattan from here? Dude, this was deep. Yeah. Where are we? I have no clue. Roof Chris, baby. And you know, Roof Chris got the good food. I don't care how far the ride is. The food, it's a little expensive, but it's blazing. I don't need to look at this again. <laughs> like I don't. Like it's no point. All even twenty. Oh, they have. Damn, they have different. They have king salmon and shrimp. They people my shirt. Oh my god, they got king salmon and shrimp. Oh, it's different. Look at. Are you gonna get that? Dan hates the camera, but she could be my camera person today. It's not awkward anymore hanging out with people. 
with the camera in their face. Let me say something. My thing was to get the classic lemon drop. I'm not even gonna get that this time. I'm gonna get the pomegranate margarita martini this time. And you've had it before? No. Who was that? Oh, Damn, you used to get the lemon drop? The lemon drop. That's what I got. We were in Aruba. Thank you. I'm about to get a look on a little door. <laughs> Are we gonna have to move this stuff so we can put it in? Take this away? Yes, please. Oh, your back looks crispier than mine. <laughs> Yoki did 12. Baked potato. So much, Miss. Thank you. Thank you. You're Cheers. What? Okay. Hi guys, so this is the skin after the chemical peel. I wanna shout out to one of my New Jersey subscribers who actually contacted Terry and they're complimenting my skin turn. I don't know if she's coming here to get her face peeled, but shout out to y'all cause y'all be supporting. She was like, yo, I'm actually shocked that they called me and was complimenting my uh, chemical peeling skills. So yeah, she peeled me up today. She did pop a pimple that I had right here and she did like a treatment on the pimple, but I'm expected to shed a lot this time, so I'm excited about that. But shout out to the subscriber that actually contacted her from Jersey to give a compliment. And yeah, she's been really working on my skin. Like, ever since I've started going to her, like, my skin has definitely taken a 360. And you guys have noticed my skin is brighter. And then, like, now I be going out with no makeup on just looking like I'm glowing now. You know what I'm saying? And maybe back then when my skin wasn't that well, I probably wasn't somebody that would be able to do that that much. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Not saying that I'm the type of person that I used to wear makeup. I had to wear makeup leaving the house. But I felt more comfortable that way. Um, but now I'm just more comfortable just not wearing makeup. So I love this feeling. Thank I'm you, I'm about Tara. to go have drinks and some seafood boil. Dan's actually paying for the parking right now. I don't know why she's still sitting in the car. But here's Dan. 2019, right? Yeah, CT 2019. Why do they do it like that? Why is Tech CT 2019? Because I think that's like the, uh, the year they established this. Oh. I don't know when you started. If you live in Norwalk, this is what we call Sono, which is. It's dead out here. It is dead, but it's a Monday. But it's actually really oh. nice. Yeah, who goes out on a Monday? Us. So, why somebody left their stroll in their bag just hanging out here? Okay, walk around it because you know these people. So, this is the place we're going to right here called the Sono Boil Crawfish and Crab. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever! Oh my god! Oh my god, can I film this? This is so cute! It smells like you really good here, though. Oh, they got the waggle. Wow, they got a lot of stuff here. What? That is like the coolest thing ever. What's that blue too? Come here, man. Set down. Yeah. I'm looking oily. So my camera's about to die, but the food was excellent. 
We usually drive to New York City to the border to get this, but if you live in Connecticut, if you live in Norwalk, Connecticut, you can get this. It's and they have happy hour from three to six, so the drinks are really inexpensive, but the food overall, Look at this yellow bone. No. Mali, Mali. Bye. Bye, mommy. Let me knock out my pill. Good. Love you. Cash. I just got back home from Trader Joe's and shopping in Connecticut, so I wanted to quickly show you guys everything that I got. So I wanted to get these plantains, and I've been talking to you guys about these. I think I showed you guys this in a haul before. These are the tostones fried plantain slices. Now, these are the super large size ones, so you can have like two of these with like shrimp on top. I'm probably gonna make two of these tonight and have like maybe a few of the crab legs because these taste really good, so I might make a garlic butter shrimp and just top it. I've done it in a video before for you guys, so. If you have not gotten these from Trader Joe's, they taste really, really good, and they're huge. They're literally, two of them could be a meal. You can make an actual sandwich out of them, so these taste really good. Dan had one in her freezer, and she wasn't using it, so I just took hers, and then I actually ended up buying one because I love them. Um, I did get some tea from Trader Joe's. I got some pomegranate and white tea and some Moroccan mint green tea. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. I think these were about... 250 a piece and I'm like okay whatever so I picked these out I do like these types of flavors like mint and pomegranate so I was like you know what let's go ahead and try this out so I got two boxes of those I also got some spinach artichoke dip this is really good you can actually eat this on keto it has a little bit of carbs in it you can make your own um, chips and eat this one it's actually really really good um, I did get some turkey meatballs per usual the turkey meatballs here are inexpensive and bomb AF Bro, I forgot to get the turkey bolognese. I knew I forgot something. Maybe tomorrow when I go, I have to go out and get something and I'll probably stop by the Trader Joe's then um, on Court Street in Brooklyn. Very busy. I did get bananas. I split it with Dan, only got three. I did get some jasmine rice. I have never tried, oh my God, did I get basmati rice? Wow, dumb. Wow. Basmati rice, the grains is too long for me. Damn it! <laughs> So I guess I picked up Bosmani. I'm gonna make it work. I'm not really worried about that. I did get some Brazino fillets and um, they look really good. I feel like I could cook this up real nice, crispy, skin it up and stuff like that. So I get the Brazino fillets and this is gonna be good. I did go ahead and just get a vegetable fried rice because you can never go wrong with vegetable fried rice. I did get some shredded potatoes. These also you can, um, on keto you can portion this out and it'll end up being like a really low point. So this is really, really good. Um, I also did get some roasted corn, which I wanted to try this week. Something busted in my bag. Did some though. Oh my god, something just something busted in my bag. No. So I did get the. What does that smell? Whatever. I did go ahead and get my chicken sausages per usual. These I always put like hot peppers on because it's not as spicy. It's not spicy at all. But they should just create a spicy one. I don't know what spilled in my bag, but I'm gonna separate these things out. I also did get. Um, this organic sparkling lemon and strawberry apple cider vinaigrette beverage. It's really, you know, I'm like, you know, this actually sounds pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Everyone's saying apple cider vinegar is really good for weight loss. So I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and try this out. I will let you know what that tastes like, guys, don't worry. Oh, I think my Red Bull must have spilled in here. I don't know, what the fuck does that smell? 
Okay. I did go ahead and get the salmon boneless fillets. It comes in like three pieces. This was $11. They taste really good. Very easy to season and get ready with any type of side. So I had to pick, I always get this from Trader Joe's. So it never stops. I did go ahead and get some organic ground turkey, 92% lean, 8% fat. I make my own homemade turkey burger. So I always get ground turkey from either Trader Joe's or wherever else sells them, you know, the butter ball one or whatever. I did go ahead and get one can of black burnt organic black beans. Now you guys are gonna be like, are you gonna keep, oh my God, I forgot to give dinner avocados. Yes, at least I got it in my bag. So I did go ahead and get avocados. I got four, sorry Dan, I guess I'm keeping them all four. They're gonna take a long time to get ready, so I don't really rush that, it is what it is. I did get, I did get two lemons. I also got the pesto pasta veggie mix. I do have some ziti noodles. I'm gonna make a little pasta salad with this. I never tried this before, but I like the whole mix in here. Oh, wait a minute, this actually comes with linguine noodles in it. Perfect, so we're gonna make this as a stir fry. I do have like some stir fry sauce in there that's really good, so I'll probably use that. I did get some butter and lettuce. I wanna make a salmon salad or a shrimp salad soon. Um, I did get my Argentinian shrimp, which is my favorite. So I'll probably make a few of these to go on the plantains, like a little garlic butter plantain mix with the shrimp. I did go ahead and get a green pepper and a white onion, because I always like my seasonings. Now, I did go ahead and pick up some new well, not no, just a re-up on some black pepper. I always get the crust, the grinder. I did go ahead and re-up on the onion salt, which is my favorite. And I got three new ones that I have never tried. So this one is a Ajika Georgiana. Please don't embarrass yourself, seasoning blend. It's just spicy, garlicky, and deeply aromatic and savory. I don't know, it's just sounding blazing to me. So I'm like, you know, I gotta get this. I also did go ahead and pick up just some red pepper, some crushed red pepper, because I, for some reason, did not have these and my nails look gross, sorry guys. And then I also picked up this new one right here that I've never ever seen, and this is called the South African Smoke Seasoning Blend. Sounds really, really good. You guys know like spicy, smoke, whatever. So when I saw this, I was like, okay. So I did get some more seasoning. As you guys can see, oh, don't fall and break. Over here from the old house, I did go ahead and put this back. But instead of having it against the thing, I set it up here. So I'm just gonna fill in the ones that I got. I mean, I want it to be kind of like shape-wise in order, but these are all the seasonings that I literally eat, I mean use, so everything's here. I do have like regular salt and stuff like um, soy sauce and like things like that that I cook with in here and the oils when you guys you know what I'm not gonna show you guys anymore because when you guys watch the furniture house tour you guys will see everything so I'm just gonna put these here for now oh I can't even fit this down in yikes okay yeah so I'm just gonna put these here for now and yeah that's gonna get on my nose ah all right no Oh, what am I doing? Alright guys, so I did show you guys that I picked up some K-Cups for $7.99. 18 K-Cups is a really good price, so I could not let that pass. I also did go ahead and get these cups right here um, for like coffee and stuff like that, especially because my boyfriend has to go back to work. So I wanted to get something that was nice, and especially for me. <clears throat> I have like tea and coffee, so why not? Um, I did go ahead to Bath and Body Works, guys, and I picked up a few things. So they had a good sale. These were like $3 for like most of the stuff. Love stuff like this, um, natural smelling kind of things, especially stuff that helps you sleep. Very soothing. They did have like a night, a lot of stuff for men. If you've never tried the men's um, like lotions and body wash, you guys are missing out. They smell really, really good. And sometimes I actually will use this along with my boyfriend stuff. I mean, with my boyfriend because they, they have like a cologne smell that sticks. I'm not really someone that likes fruity smells. So I did go ahead and pick my boyfriend up the Champion set. It smells so, so nice. Um, it also comes with the lotion as well. And these are only $4.95 for each. Everything was on sale. And I got this extra one so we could share because I really like it. Like I said, this lotion is so nice. Smells so nice and masculine and just scrumptious. Um, so I picked that up too. And like I said, the men's stuff was about like $4.95. And then like these items were like $3. I did get the Saltwater Breeze and the Perfect Peony. Peony, whatever you call it. My sister always says, that's not how you say it. Whatever. So I did go ahead and get two body washes, and these smell good. They're not too fruity, 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 because you guys, like, I don't like fruity, fruity. So they're not too fruity, fruity, so I'm pretty good with that. So they were on sale for, like, three bucks, so I picked up 
to it. This guy went in there and spent at least like a thousand dollars. I guess he was sending things back home, which is actually a smart idea because you can make a good buck if you buy them for three, send them back home. Bath and Body Works is popular AF, so I thought that was dope. I did go ahead and get up, get four candles. I got two of these, the Cactus um, Blossom. They smell really good and natural. That's kind of the scent I like, natural smells. And then I got the Hibiscus Waterfalls, which is also naturally nice and smells so good. I did get Ozara and pick out two things. I'll probably try them on for you guys tomorrow. So you guys, I'll do like a little try on haul tomorrow. Um, I got a jumpsuit and this little bandeau style thing. The jumpsuit is really cute. Like I said, tomorrow I'll do a try and haul for you guys to show you guys these two items just because I'm lazy now and I don't feel like it. It's been about $50 there. I got this for $25.99. They have a little sale going on. And I also got this top, which was not on sale, unfortunately, for $25.90. So it's really cute. I have a bucket hat to go with this one. You guys will see when I try them on tomorrow. Dimmer. Tomorrow. And I think that's about it. I did forget to show you guys that I did pick up some restaurant style white corn tortilla chips from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna actually eat these with that spinach artichoke dip. Uh, I also got something in the mail today that I did order. If you guys are ever looking for that tripod, that this is the most popular tripod. It comes with that little remote. I love this one. I actually left mine at Nikki Beach when I was in Miami, so I had to go ahead and order a new one. It came in one day, Amazon Prime, baby. So I got that. Um, I also did go ahead and pick up some quick little eyeshadow brushes. I was trying to get rid of the ones that I have and you know start over because I did order stuff for the office from Amazon as well too. I'm trying to get ready for the party this week so my office is complete. So I want to throw the brushes out, start over. So I'll probably have to go to Sephora tomorrow just to do like a small makeup shop. I don't know. I got to think about it because Sephora really be cutting into your pockets like, bruh, I can go in there and spend a three fifty five hundred, 500 okay? So I gotta, you know, map out what I want and probably order and pick it up so I don't get confused in there buying other stuff. So I picked this up. I'll probably open them. I'll open them tomorrow to show you. I'm really, guys, I really gotta start cooking. I'm starving and it's late and my boyfriend about to come and I really wanna make sure he gets something to eat. So I'll show you guys what this looks like tomorrow. I'm gonna set up the tripod tomorrow too because I need to start doing uh, stuff for IG and I need to start doing something. Even though my face is currently peeling right now, it's gonna no, it's not currently peeling. It's going to start peeling. I can still do makeup on top of it and still have it concealed enough where you guys won't even see it in the film. I did that in the try on haul. You guys, nobody even noticed <laughs> that I was like peeling underneath the makeup. So, uh, this is what I got today from the other places. I got my groceries already and everything is ready. You're currently watching the game right now. You guys, you guys don't know I love Kawhi Leonard, but they're not really doing that good right now. Like, they're three and one against the Phoenix Suns. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Too bad the Knicks didn't make it. So, so what do you guys think about the TV? Like, I, so I'm starting. So I have a quick question for you guys. You guys can help me out in the comment section. So we're thinking about getting a bigger TV. So I feel like the TV should be maybe like that big, like between you know right there. This one is a 55 inch and it's just not cutting it. So we're thinking about getting maybe like a. 65 inch or 70 inch TV just to give us more maximum space on here and don't mind the cords that are sticking out on the side I just did not open up that thing and stick the cords to the back. I really really like how this came out Do not clap at that. That's a little bit uneven <laughs> Not really. It's no not really if I move the TV down. It's yeah, it's not that bad Come on guys. I tried <laughs> So, it just looks really good in here, guys. I already showed it to you guys, basically, but I absolutely love it in here. It's so warm and inviting and just so nice. And, yeah. And if you guys ever want to know, like, I showed you guys the candles that I get. Unfortunately, Mah Mahogany Teakwood is not on sale, but this is my favorite. So, if you know what Mahogany Teakwood smells like, then you know exactly what type of, uh, you know, candle type of girl I, I am. I love this smell. It's so natural, warm, and it actually goes with the aesthetics of, you know, the apartment. So I absolutely love it. Love it. I gotta stop showing you. I gotta wait. I am ordering um, something for there, um, but I'm not gonna tell you guys because I'm already showing you guys so much, but you guys will see it when it comes. It's gonna look so cute. It's small, fits right there. There's a plug right there. So if you wanna plug in your phone, you could just, you know, Love it. So this is basically done. Just have one more thing that I'm picking that I'm ordering on Wayfair tonight. And that'll be that.
Okay. Here is very pretty. You guys should see this vlog go up today. Your girl is working. Hmm. Very, very I'm just reviewing it just to make sure the first part because I'm almost done with the last day So I want to make sure everything's good first of all Alright guys, so I did tell you guys I was going to come and try on the stuff that I got yesterday from Zara um, My face is peeling right now I just washed my face with just some regular Murad uh, Acne Control Cleanser And my face just automatically started peeling So this is the jumpsuit that I was so concerned about yesterday But then once I put it on, I'm like Baby Baby So this one is actually in a size large remember Zara's a little bit different um, I was a little worried about this one not fitting me or like being a little bit too loose but the stretch material on this one is actually really nice and supportive now one thing I noticed about these type uh, if you're someone that ever had a tummy tuck or a mini tummy tuck I got something called a smooth tuck which is aka a mini tummy tuck um, this area is gonna always be a problem area I don't care what anybody says I feel like nowadays most of the stairs if someone if I see someone coming straight ahead like I'm walking in front they always look down here like <laughs> I'm not even joking. You know, they'll always look at the back too, but and still look at my face first. But then for some reason, people's face, uh, their attention draws down to this area. Especially, like I said, if you got a tummy tuck before, a mini tummy tuck. When this part connects to this stomach part, I feel like the bottom part right here definitely looks very bulgy. And the fact that they did cut these into this kind of like high cut bikini style look is definitely going to draw a lot of attention. And another thing about this one that I did not realize, I didn't realize how... Um, plungy the bra part was so I ended up taking this one and crisscrossing it to the back just to make it look more um, athletic wise there's a lot of boob spillage in this one which I didn't really want but then I'm like I got it it is what it is um, if you want to you can actually wear like a bralette underneath here just a small one to cover it up but I'll probably just wear it like this one if I'm going out it's like an athletic outfit that you could definitely wear heels with and make it look really cute and catwoman wise let me show you guys what the back looks like <laughs> So the back looks like that. It's just a lot of crisscrossing. Very, very cute. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. So um, I'm out the house right now. It's actually 2.28. Had some things to do earlier that I got done and then I needed to um, go out and get some stuff. Um, I want to go get something at the grocery store and then I also need to go pick up a lab coat that I got made because I want to do a cute little Instagram reel today. So it is like, I should be done with the Instagram reel by 7 so I'll probably just post it up tomorrow which will be, you know, or I should just do it today. It doesn't even matter what time I post it because it is Roman Crush Wednesday. It's not going to take me that long to do but I want to make sure I get it done today but the lab coat finally is done so I'm going to go pick up the lab coat. I did do my hair, switch it up. This part is still light up here just because I'm a little tan so I'm going to have to figure the color out once I do 
my foundation, but it's just a middle part, like 30 inch long unit, jet black, very nice, sleek and straight. Um, so I have a basic outfit that I wear on biker shorts, black biker shorts, and this cute little top from Forever 21 that says creative director. So that's what I have on today. Um, I kept the basic, cause you guys know I'm not like, I'm going out the next, tomorrow and Friday, I'm going out like you know I'm going I got things to do I'm going out on the streets but um, as far as today mm -mm, Monday through Tuesday your girl be up the basics so this is what I'm looking like today guys I did go ahead and re-put my purple nails back on because these is the last set of purple nails that I have so I wanted to make sure oh god I'm just embarrassing myself at this point John. All right, so this is the only last pair of purple set that I had so I cleaned them up and then I reapplied them just now I am having a little barbecue on um, Saturday so um, yeah they're so pretty and they're long only three dollars at Primark I don't even see these anymore so yeah I must have just snatched them so yes yeah, so I'm having a barbecue on Saturday so I still have a lot of things to do so I wanted a simple hairstyle cute bitchin it's long um, but it's very pretty so it'll be nice for the weekend so all right guys so I was supposed to go to uh, Key Foods they have like a lot in like Park Slope but that one is actually closing I'm actually wondering what grocery store they're gonna actually replace Key Foods with so I decided to just come to Whole Foods I just needed some breadcrumbs and like maybe some strawberry no no strawberries sometimes I'm not really into strawberries like that I also wanted to see what else kind of like vegan or vegetarian things they have. I'm not going in there trying to spend that much money. I also need some oil, oil as well. Oil, mainly oil, chicken wings, and um, breadcrumbs. And I believe chicken wing. There's a chicken wing shortage, so we'll see how that happen, how that works out. Because I know the prices are probably probably going to be inflated. So I'm gonna head in here now, try to make it quick. It's not that busy. I don't know what's going on, but I'm happy about that because I don't want to be stuck in all this busy mess. So. I'm grateful for that. Yes, I am sitting on the toilet right now and talking to you guys, but happy Tuesday. I did not I did not film the entire weekend, the holiday weekend, just because a lot of things were going on. Uh, I had people come over at my crusty, probably. I had people come over and stuff like that. So I just wanted to kind of enjoy myself and things like that. So I didn't really film the weekend. I did show you guys what I did last week. Um, so I'm gonna just combine the vlogs together to give you guys a vlog on Friday this week. So I did do a hair video yesterday. I'm gonna try to get this hair video, uh, this try and haul approved today because the try and haul's done. Um, it's not a long try and haul, about 15 minutes, but you know how it goes. At least I got it done yesterday. I didn't talk to you guys yesterday because I got a little bit of an allergic reaction. Um, woke up or we we didn't wake up early yesterday. We just kind of hung out the whole day because obviously my boyfriend had the fifth off. So we did have a few drinks, only one drink guys. I had a Casamigo with lemonade and I don't know if it's probably the lemonade. I think I'm like sometimes allergic to lemonade. I don't, this is weird, but my throat was so stiff. And like right now I feel completely fine. Like yesterday my throat just like really felt like rough. Like I don't know if it was from the lemonade, but sometimes I have reactions to like lemonade. It's just it's so weird guys. But I sometimes I'll have like little reactions to lemonade. So I don't know if it was a lemonade that just irritated my throat. And you know, it, it was very acidic. And sometimes I'll have like a little flux. Not like, I had it maybe like once a year. Like once a year I have like a little bit of flux. Reflux. But I don't know. Something about it just did not agree with my throat. So my throat was just like very stiff. I was not happy yesterday. So I just kind of chilled. I did not film or you know, pick up the camera to talk to you guys. But... I'm back today and today um, like I said I got the try and haul done so that's two videos down already for the week tomorrow I'm gonna pause because I like to wait on Wednesday and then Thursday I'll do another hair video plus Friday will be the vlog this vlog so um, I have some content for you guys the video will probably be long last week like I said it was a little bit of a mixed day showed you guys some cooking and stuff so you guys will like the cooking I'm back to cooking I am gonna start a diet August 1st so I'm preparing myself now um, my boyfriend's birthday is coming up in September if I could just lose like 15 pounds I definitely gained some weight I don't know what number I gained I never look at numbers but I definitely feel a little bit fluffier than I usually am so I'm definitely gonna have to go back on a diet so I'm gonna start the diet August 1st it doesn't matter what date falls on the diet's gonna start August 1st guys so um, if you're ready let's go I'm not in school we're done with school so I have enough time to devote um, 
more on the fitness and health side on my channel now so i'm going to elevate that up again um also i'm thinking about doing an ebook like now i said i have time to do the ebook so i'll do like a small ebook for some keto recipes for you guys as well too because i have the time so this month is just going to be a chill month i was gonna i am traveling this month but we're gonna road trip it this month just because i need to give myself some time for august and september because i do plan on going away so um we're gonna just do road trips this month, you know, go to Hershey or Dorney Park or something like that in Philly. Um, and August 1st, I will be back on my grind, work, lifestyle, everything, trying to get my diet and stuff together. So I'm giving myself July off just to hang out a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do some cooking today. I am going to the mall though. I don't need to buy anything. I just want to go to King's Plaza to look to see if they have more nails. More accessories like earrings and stuff like that because I do like the earrings that I got from them last time at, at Primark. And I also do want to go to Rainbow just to look up a few things. I think I have a dinner to go to this weekend um, on Saturday. So I do want to always pick out like a little outfit. I've been dressing up lately, guys. Going on. I've been dressing up. So I'm trying to keep up, keep that up. You know, the grown and sexy style or vibe or whatever. So I keep them sitting on the toilet talk to you guys. Whatever. I'm not using the toilet. I'm just sitting down. I already used it so um so yeah so i'm going out this weekend for dinner with my friends so i'm probably gonna go back to connecticut this week my mom's supposed to come down today to go shopping i take her shopping like once a month i gotta stop doing that she's just getting so used to it so i'm gonna take her tomorrow to go shopping and um she'll come tomorrow because it's 97 degrees today i really want her to be out in the heat like that my mom's older you know um, but uh, I think tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit cooler, still in the 90s, but she'll meet me tomorrow. I'll pick her up from Grand Central and then we'll mm -hmm. hang out. And I had a nice piece of crust in my eye while I was talking to you guys. So my skin is looking pretty good today. So like I said, guys, I'm about to head out in a few. I'm not even going to do makeup. I'm literally going to put on the most basic outfit, which is an outfit I'll probably always wear, like biker shorts. <clears throat> Biker shirts, crop top, fanny pack, no makeup. I really like my hair. You guys will see it when I go out. Um, it's a new style for my first wig. So you guys really, really like this one. Their lace literally so impeccable, guys. Like, <laughs> So I'm just going to go out with no makeup today. I might even... No, it's too hot. So I'm probably just going to clip her up. She looks very natural without makeup. So you guys are going to see I'm talking about. It looks so good without makeup. And I love wigs that look really good when, and you don't got to wear makeup. I freaking love that. And this unit has color, but it looks so good without makeup. So um, I'm just going to put on a nice little cute, you know, athleisure type of outfit. Um, probably like some, oh yeah, I got a cute little outfit, you know, sporty type to wear. And then I'm going to head off to Primark and then go to Rainbow Shops and then get some Chipotle for lunch. I don't know what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. I've been really liking those plantains. I got some fresh avocado, so I might just do some tostones with shredded chicken or shrimp and avocado. And I got some pint do I have black beans or whatever. I don't know. But I'm having chipotle today. I'll just get chipotle. I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. It'd be something simple. But yeah. Happy Tuesday. Pie right now in stars, but let me quickly show you guys the stuff that I got uh, yesterday, the other day when I went to the mall. So I did go to Primark and then I went to Rainbow. Let me show you guys the Rainbow Shop stuff first because it's only four items. There's one item that I got that I have to return. So I did go ahead and pick up these sandals. If you guys watch my um, vlog from Miami, uh, Alex actually bought these from Rainbows. These were only if you buy two pairs, you get it for ten dollars a piece. So I got two sandals for twenty dollars. They're twelve ninety nine a pop. Now you guys know the Hermes sandals, or if I'm saying it. Hermes um, sandals you guys cannot sit here and tell me these don't look like it like come on they look just like it so um, instead of paying $500 which I know I was gonna do it <laughs> I was gonna do it I'm not gonna lie so I was gonna buy the sandals for um, about $500 I really like the bright pink ones but then I'm like yo Rainbow shop. I don't know if you I went to the one in Kings Plaza So everything is from Kings Plaza in Brooklyn that rainbow downstairs is really really good They had so much footwear. I'm sorry. I did not film that part I'm probably gonna have to go back because I have to return something So I'm gonna go to another rainbow and I'll show you guys what that one looks like the one where my old house was at Because when I go and film in there, they they don't care. They actually remember me So they don't even bother me so I did get the black ones as well, and I wore these yesterday. So comfortable, guys. Really, really nice, and they look just like the Hermes. And I know I'm going to clean that up after since I wore those yesterday. Don't worry. Disinfect the countertop because I was cleaning up today. Um, 
So yeah, and I just think that if you don't want to pay $500, these look very close. Guys, come on. And I got them a size 9. They fit really nice. I also got this cute little top right here. I think this top was like $15. When I tried it on, it fit no $10. It is super cute. I wanted to rock it with um, these sweatpants I got, but the sweatpants, the stackable sweatpants just did not look cute. So I'm going to find something else when I return those pants that were $15 to wear with this, but I really like it. I did try it on with this skirt that I got from Primark, but we'll get into that in a few. It just didn't go together, but I still like it. I'm going to keep it. Then I also got these really cute, comfy cozy sweatpants um i have like these platform um white um uh, birkenstocks not called birkenstocks from forever 21 so i thought it would look really cute to wear this with this pink top that i got from primark it's just like a real you know those kind of chill vibe outfits that you still like have a beat face your hair is laid to the guys but you just wearing like really comfy like cute cozy stuff so i tried this on with the top and i'll show you guys what the top looks like it looks so cute they didn't have a size medium so i got this one in a size large it's a little bit big but nothing too crazy because it is boyfriend fit so um this was like on the sale rack i think this was like 10 bucks or a few dollars i'm not even sure but these fit so nice i love tie-dye if you guys know me i love tie-dye so i had to get these and it goes so well with the top the only reason why i got those is because i got i went to primark first so at primark i picked up this really cute skirt this skirt i believe was like 11 dollars or 12 dollars i got in a u.s size 6 uk size 10 it is stretchy i love the pattern was which is why i got it because um you know it's hot but you know we're transitioning anyways and i have like really nice boots like you know on uh, you know like those creeper style boots the really chunky boots so i thought that would be cute to wear like, like a screen tee this and the boots and maybe like you know jean jacket once it starts transitioning i love this type of style uh so i got this it fits really nice guys it's a size six and shockingly like i said if you shop at primark everything comes pretty big so even my plus size girls that you can fit into like an extra large shirt because everything runs very big i can sometimes fit an x small in this place so that's just telling you what it is i did get pajamas so i saw this one really cute i actually ended up getting this one in a size medium it is oversized uh sleep shirt style and i love that it says brunch club because i'm gonna be waking up that early on the weekend and even on a regular day i just thought it would be so cute to wear it's oversized really nice gray simple and just my vibes to be honest with you guys, i said this before, I tend to sleep with just panties and bras or just naked. So if you could get me to buy one of these, and if I find it and I like it, it'll be my my next jam. You guys know I get the two-piece sets from Target. I'm going to go to Target today to see if they have any more pajamas because I love pajamas from Target. Um, but I'll take you guys with me to Target today. So yay. And we're going to do a little grocery shopping. So we got a lot to do today. Um, and then I got this one for $10, which was a great deal. Uh, and here's the pink top. Like I said, I got this pink top first before they actually had a yellow. I'm almost tempted to go back to Primark because like they have some cute stuff, but I don't really need stuff because I'm not going away this month. I'm just staying pretty local because I have a lot of work to do, I realize. So um, the most I'm going to probably do this month to go to uh, PA, which is only like two hours away. Um, I got this for $8 size small. It's cute because it has a um, the little tie part to close it up. With the sweatpants, guys, I'm telling you, it's such a cute outfit. With my, I'm going to uh, get a pedicure this week, probably tomorrow. Fresh toes, my white um, platform Burks. Such a cute look, guys, with the sweatpants. Trust me, I tried it on. It was nice with a nice side part, middle part, long jet. Okay, I'm just joking. So I also did go ahead and pick up some panties. I already obviously snapped one out the pack. Um, I get the three pack seamless free thongs. These are in size small. The size small can fit me, fits perfectly, guys. I noticed that they did change the material on this one, so it's a bit softer. And it's not as thick as the old uh, pairs were. So I really like this one a lot. So I got two packs. These packs are like $8, I believe. I don't know what happened to... Um, the piece. I also got a pair of black socks. These are only always three dollars and fifty cent basic ankle socks. Um, so I mean three dollars and fifty. Oh, that's my fat. Well, two dollars a uh, euro, but it's three fifty in the United States conversion. I don't even know. That's crazy because they have a lot of stuff that had the uh, European currency instead of the U.S. But you guys know this is a European store that's just moving in. Um, uh, to the United States. I also got a three pack. This is different. I've never seen this formation. I have one that's like a deeper plunge. I wanted something a little bit higher. So I picked this three pack out. This was only $10. For, well, I think it's about 12, I think 12, uh, for a size medium. They're really nice guys. There is no padding. 
um, no wiring, and very comfortable. You guys know I have breast implants. Like, come on. I don't even wear, I have not worn an underwire bra in like five years. I don't wear stuff, like, maybe more than that. Because, um, I mean, I have implants, so they pretty much stay the way they are. So I wear stuff like this, more comfortable. Only thing about this, sometimes you get like a little hard nip in it, but ain't nothing too crazy. I did pick up some accessories. Some rings per usual. I got this pack a little bit different from what I have. I feel like I had this, but I don't know. I just love this one and this little crystallized one and this one too. So that's why I picked this one up. I also got their Zodiac Horoscope Charm, Capricorn per usual. I also got this Harry Potter pen for my office. I know, kind of corny. I don't care what you guys say. You guys already know if you follow me for a long time, I love Harry Potter. So I pick this one up. And it was only, it says $2.50. I'm not sure what the conversion is. One of you guys from the UK, leave the conversion down below because you guys would know better than I do. Now, the best part, guys, is the nails. So, I did go switch my nails. I did white nails the other day. And then as soon as I went to Primark, I took those bad boys off, the Primark ones. And I decided to put these on. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know these are my favorite sets. This is my all-time favorite set. I love like an ombre, pinky, nudie, Frenchy style, whatever you want to call it. Why is it not focusing? So this is my $3.50 set of press-on nails. I I put these on like two days ago, so it's been three days. No, I have not been have not had to re-glue them or anything. They are perfect. So I got seven packs. Yes, I did, and I don't care. They have not had these in a long time, so when I saw it, I snatched seven up. Uh, $3.50 a piece, guys, and these are... When I tell you the ultimate nude set of long, when I look at long, ah, to three fifty. I also got the. Oh, that's another one. I got seven of those. I think it's seven. Yeah, I have one pair on. So seven of those. I also got three of the purple ones. The purple lilac ones are the business. Like guys, look at how gorgeous these are. They're glossy. They're stiletto, and they're very, 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 very long. And I love that. Oof. Mmm. Yeah, baby. Let me stop making weird noises. And then I also got so these. Oh, these were like a dollar fifty. I don't know what that that. Oh yeah. So it's two dollars up. So these were three fifty. And then this one was on sale for two dollars. These were on sale. I only got two of the gray ones because I wasn't like the biggest fan of the gray or ash color. So I only got uh, two packs of this one. But my favorites, I loaded up because these seven of these can last me about a few months. It could probably last me to the end of the year, uh, to be honest. I spread these out. Like I'll do these once. I have other styles and stuff like that, so I'll do those too. So. I'm pretty happy with the purchase. I didn't spend that much money. Oh, yeah, and I got a bucket hat as well, too, a denim bucket hat, because you can never have too many bucket hats. I have black, white, and I have to get a denim one. So I got this one. It was $5. Well, no, if it's, uh, that means it's $7, which right, is So my mom did go ahead and pick out a whole bunch of these moo's, and I got to pick one out. Um, so I picked this one out. It's very, very pretty. More of the patterny. I was going to get one with butterflies on, but I'm like, that's not my style. I like the black. A little bit of sparkle and then the animal print and like you know a little a tribal print and stuff like that so this is the momo i picked out like i said i don't really i have robes and stuff like that but if i could just slap this on and just walk around the house during the day especially during filming days when I'm filming hair videos, I will put this on before uh, for the hair videos moving forward. And if I did not mention to you guys before, my mom shops wholesale, so she just buys everything in bulk anyways. Um, so I got this six piece. It was really inexpensive. And like I said, these are the good quality white t-shirts. I also picked him up some tanks, some white tanks. And then I also got him a mixed pattern, three tanks as well too. You know I gotta get something when I go out. I also got a full size Haitian flag. And then I got two small bandanas as well, too. Um, you know, a lot of things are going on with Haiti right now. They assassinated the president. And the wife got injured as well, too. Um, rest his soul. And hopefully she recovers. So, I don't know. I just wanted to get some stuff to represent where I'm from. So I picked out the Haitian flag. And I've opened Let me open it up. Nah, I'm not opening it up. I'm going to find, you know, take a picture or do something with this. I really, I was going to actually hang it up on my car. But then I'm like, dumb, really? I wanted to get a flag to hang out my car, but then I'm like, dumb, really? So we just settled for this. And two bandanas. So this is all I got. I basically went shopping with my mom yesterday. She bought stuff, but I didn't really get myself personally anything other than those flags. But got my boyfriend some new gear. So that was the shopping this week. And I did go ahead and clean up today. I cleaned up. I cleaned it up, cleaned it up, cleaned it up. 
I do have a package right there which is a setup for the bathroom. And the behind the bathroom door I had like this old little black thing that I got from Ikea. So I did order like a wooden like setup thing and I have some baskets that are that I bought from TJ Maxx that are in there. So I'm gonna set that up later. I do have somebody from um, Task Rabbit coming today to set up my uh, wardrobe. I have two wardrobes. I will show you guys the office, but the office is mess. I need to stack the boxes up. He'll be here in like two hours. And the clothes on there are from Boohoo.com. So we have an entire Tron home that I should be done with tonight. Um, I already tried everything on, so it's not like, you know, when you get, when I do Tron hauls, I like to try the stuff on the day before I film so I know how to style it, how it's going to look. My hair is perfect because my hair matched just about all the looks, so that part is set. So all I need to do, why is this on here? This is my pajamas from Target, by the way. Um, so all I need to do is just, um, do my makeup, do a nice makeup. I always have to do a specific type of makeup for filming. If you film trying hauls, you know what I'm talking about. So I just got to do my makeup and um, get ready to film this stuff. And yeah. All right, guys. So I'm right on time with everything. I was able to get the office floor cleared up and everything. So that is the system that's going against this wall. I do have three portraits that I'm going to line up on the sides and stuff like that. This one right here, I wanted to go into the closet. I didn't even show you guys the closet. There's so much stuff in there, but the closet, thank God, it's a big closet. So what I'm going to do is once the wardrobe system comes up, the bottom box there has all the hangers and stuff. So I'm going to start with the boxes by hanging up the things that I want. This is this system right here has like eight drawers. So I'm using that to fold the clothes and put the clothes that I'm, you know, my like everyday basic clothes in there. I believe this system, once I put it, he puts it together, it can fit in the closet. So what I'm going to have to do is pull everything out the closet after and try to fit this in there. But my first task is to, once this is done, is to go ahead and start hanging up the clothes that are hangable, like, you know, my good stuff up on the system. The system is actually really big. It should fit the whole wall. Well, it should fit a good portion of the wall, like, like that much. It has racks underneath, all that kind of stuff. So that's going to go there. Um, my studio set is right here. I got it like two or three years ago from Dan for Christmas. My apartments have just never been that big. So I'm going to actually set this up because I have like, I'm trying to do different content, but like better quality content. I still like my background and stuff like that. I am going to go ahead and change some stuff up right here. Um, but this is kind of like my main zone. I like it simple, plain, you know, clear tier, clear desk. This I have to organize up. And then the back there I have some stuff. I'm probably going to get a small plant to put in the back. That will be great. So I'm probably going to go to Ikea, get a nice plant and put it back there. And yeah, so and then obviously all my other filming stuff, my iPhone wig stand that and then my studio set up um so once this goes up i'll see what i'm working with the mirror i'm gonna have to figure out where i'm gonna put the mirror at i definitely want to put like a little chair right here some cute kind of chair simple but i need to see how this system looks once it's put up but i'm right on time i was able to clean this up guys um I was able to clean this up. Let me put these somewhere. I was able to clean this up pretty fast. So it's actually 11:30 right now. Look at all the stuff I got in here. So like I said, I have to organize a lot of things. So it looks messy now, but you guys will see by the end of the week and the, by the end of the weekend, everything will be set up. So it's enough space in here for him to get it done. That's all right, guys. So this is the boxes, and he is done. I tried to get a sneak peek of him, but I didn't want to be all up in his face on my camera. So. This is the item that I got from Ikea. Now, it's actually supposed to be shorter version and there's actually supposed to be a rod splitting it, but I didn't, he actually offered if, he told me I can have it different ways. So with this one, all I had to do is unclasp this and I can make it too small. I might I make it like lower. So I might take one of these and put it in the corner right there. Um, but this right here is perfect. I needed extra drawers and this is nice space to put like my, you know, rest of my extra clothes summer clothes and stuff so i'll probably do like summer clothes at the bottom and then winter clothes at the top so i can separate things out but it's a good enough space to put stuff i'll leave the information for this down below if you need this my closet is actually big enough where i can actually fit both of these in the closet so once i pull everything out the closet i'm able to organize it this is much better much better but remember i gotta go through all of this clothes um to try to hang stuff up i have hangers but i'm gonna go to um target and like uh, the next 30 minutes, I gotta get ready. Um, go to Target to get some more hangers. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with the mirror, but I have enough space in here. Like this worked out 
perfect right here so I have enough space so this this is perfect like I was a little worried but this is perfect you can move this front and back on these two front and back I didn't really care for like one of those like really like cute fancy ones I'm like I mean my table and chair is pretty like industrial style so I'm like fuck it I'm just gonna keep something like this keep it basic it's good for filming too obviously I'm gonna just decorate it I make it cute put like a little you know greenery on it I guess or whatever probably not um, but this I saw right here needs to be handled and I definitely need a plant or something in this corner So it's coming along. I just have to now take my time And go through the clothes which is gonna be a very very big headache but this part is Done so I have that done and then I'll have enough space here where I could film this way or film that way because there's just enough space in this area but like I said I do want a chair I'm starting to think that I'm gonna get a little chair and put the chair right there um, the door opens wide enough I mean not too far where it's gonna get in the way so I can put like a nice little chair right there obviously this stuff's gonna go in the closet once I get everything situated like I said I could fit these two in the closet so we'll see about that so I definitely want to put a, like a little chair there organize this thing up make it look more you know cute good morning ladies and gentlemen your girl hit 100k on instagram i have finally made it i can announce that now just because it already hit the 100k i feel more comfortable it was like 102 or 101 but i mean we made it guys i knew it happened last night uh, i just last night i didn't feel well not feel well like my i just my neck hurts i don't know why so it's just a little stiff so i guess i've been sleeping wrong on my pillow so i had to readjust myself last night so i decided to go to bed but it happened yesterday but we made it guys i'm so happy i kind of knew it was going to happen like towards the end of june early july towards the end of june i was like a 95 or 90 something and then um like i said when i posted up this reel it really helped um me get a whole bunch of followers so I don't know, I'm really happy. Thank you guys so much for following me on IG. We finally made it. Now we need to get to half a million on here on YouTube. So I think we can do that as well. Right, guys, so I'm in the car right now. I'm on my way to uh, Aldi's and Target and then I'm coming back home. I did have a video to edit today. I don't really think I want to put it up to today. I do have a try and haul to finish up. Uh, the try and haul, I'm going to submit it tomorrow. They probably want to prove it, but I'm most likely going to put it up on Saturday. So this vlog, I'm going to try to start it, editing it tonight in a hair video for tomorrow. The hair video, I'll put it up around like 5 or 6 o'clock, and then the, the vlog will be up around 8.30. The vlog is definitely going to be long just because there was a lot that went, like it's a whole long-ass two-week vlog. So hopefully you guys like it. Um... And yeah, so the try and haul, I'm going to finish it tonight and submit it. Even if they approve it tomorrow, I'm not going to put it up till Saturday just because I'll have enough time to edit it. Since I have two videos already done, uh, this vlog basically and the hair video, I'll have those go up tomorrow jointly because, I mean, a hair video is like real short and then you'll get a vlog. So hopefully you enjoy it. I'm about to be on my way. It should probably take me like 30 minutes to get there. It's like 2.26 now, so it's still kind of like early. Even though traffic starts around like five, but I should be fine. I'm at, if you ever come to Harlem River Drive, which is in Harlem, I know you guys are like, why she, because this one has an Aldi and it also has a Target and it also has a Costco. So I can just kill two birds or three birds with one stone. Even though I don't have a Costco car, I don't even need to buy bulk. I always end up finding a parking spot like right here. Let's see if I'm able to find one. So don't you, honey? Well, probably not. No. Seems like a lot of people came shopping today. Guys, got this. Some Clorox. A leaf pan. Some toilet paper and some toilet paper and paper towel. And I also need to get one of these. I had one before, but the one I had before, I had to throw out. So this one says that it's six month filter. So I think I'm about to get this one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how much this costs. I'm assuming it's like $34.99. The white is black. I'm gonna get the black one instead of the white. I don't know, if it's dirtier. You could be, it's noticeable. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm not sure how much it costs, but it says 
six month filter, which I'll be forgetting, so I need something a little bit longevity. And I guess I remember from this video that it's six months. This area right here. One picture. Of I am in all these right now. They don't really have that much stuff in here. Just looking through the aisles just to see what they got in general. I don't see anything. Yeah, this is really good. I've never tried the coconut one, but I'm gonna get the coconut one today. I've had this one before and these taste really, really good. So I'm gonna try this one. And this shrimp right here is really good as well too. Similar to the one at Trader Joe's. Should I do Italian or Panko? I might do Italian. I'm gonna get the chicken. This one. So it decided to rain because we have a hurricane that's supposed to like, you know, give us a little some action from Thursday till, ooh, somebody hit that thing, God, I was paying attention. From Thursday to Friday, Trader Joe's is right here. I could park up and go to Trader Joe's, but. I'm actually in Manhattan right now, guys, so, yeah, so, um, this is gonna take me 44 minutes to get home. It actually feels like, I mean, like, at, once I get over the Brooklyn Bridge, I'm not too far from my house, but boy, let me tell you guys something. Five miles in New York City is about a 30-minute drive to 45-minute drive. In Connecticut, a five-mile drive is about five minutes, like, tops, like, oh my god, I just missed a turn. Dumb. Did I? No, I'm turning. Oh, Williamsburg Bridge is right here. Yes. And yes, I be using my phone GPS because sometimes this GPS be acting real weird. So I just use my phone GPS most of the time. I, I don't know. Something about the car GPS is just don't be giving it to me. But yeah, this is it. It's pouring out here. If you guys know this area, this is Williamsburg, guys. Most of you guys would know where this is at. The Williamsburg Bridge up here. I'm happy that yo, this was actually a good way for them to let me off. I actually like that. So hopefully I remembered how I did this because this is way easier. But yeah, I'm headed home. I'm gonna make me some dinner, some early dinner and some sangria. And that's gonna be that. Look at the pretty bridge. All right, so I'm gonna get off on Broadway. On, because like I said, I don't live too far from off of this bridge, not the Brooklyn, well the Brooklyn Bridge too, I don't look too far off the Brooklyn Bridge either, but they wanted me to catch the Williamsburg and I'm not too far off the Williamsburg Bridge. Hope you guys are enjoying the scenery, love it here, and I'm almost home, like not even 41 minutes away, that's deep. I'm To be honest with you, I might even stop at Food Bazaar, so we're gonna go to Food Bazaar, they got fresh fish, I wanna get two red snappers, and yeah, I'm really into seafood, y'all see that lightning? Wow. This right here would have to be like the best view. Let me get across, let me get over this guy before he gets too close to me. Right here, so pretty. I'm like taking you guys on like a little tour of New York City. This area right here is so nice. And over there, if you look on the side, that is the Brooklyn Bridge over, where's the Brooklyn Bridge? I can't be looking right now, but look at this guys. So freaking pretty. And it's dangerous, I'm putting my camera down. All right guys, so this was everything that I got today. I did go to Aldi's and pick some stuff out and then I went to Target. Let's start with Target because Target obviously didn't get that much stuff. I did get some Clorox cleaning wipe, some Clorox cleaner and bleach spray. I got two packs of the Huggies natural care wipes, which are my favorite one for each bathroom. I also did get some Aleve PM. You know, this really helps in the nighttime. Love it, especially if you have a little bit of um, joint pain or any type of, why is it not focusing? Focus! There we go. 
So it's really good. You could take this or tie it but I prefer a leaf sometimes because it just works better, lasts longer. And yes, I am watching Power again. So I needed a new Brita because the one I had before I threw it out just because I was getting particles in it even though I did change the filter. So I need to up my drinking water. I feel like buying bottled water is a waste. It's just plastic. So I just prefer, me and my boyfriend prefer just buying one of these and just doing our own water every single day with this one. So it does up to six glasses of water, I believe, six cups capacity so I usually tend to refill this like twice a day so I'm gonna up the water intake so I was so happy to pick this up and this one says it's six month filter so this is definitely different from the one I had before because I think you have to change that filter very often so it kind of saves you some money I'm not really sure how much I paid for this but I'm happy that I got it now as far as all these I kept it simple I got some coconut breaded shrimp if you ever tried the regular shrimp like the original shrimp like this from this brand it tastes like a shrimp basket from a restaurant. I'm telling you guys, I've never had the coconut. This is my first time trying the coconut, but I'm telling you guys the original one, it tastes like a shrimp basket dinner from any top restaurant. Like it's really, really good. $5. This one you get about 10 shrimp. The other one you get about 12 and it's delicious, crunchy, crispy. If you pan fry it, it's better. You can air fry it if you want to, but if you want to have that real, you know, shrimp basket vibes, you're going to have to deep fry that one, but I'm just saying. I also got some chicken stock, a nice head of iceberg lettuce, some tomatoes per usual. I also got some hot sauce, some Argentinian red shrimp, which is my favorite. I get this one from uh, Trader Joe's as well. Trader Joe's bag is $12.99. This one at um, Aldi's is only $9.99 and it's a nice looking shrimp. Nice, very nice good looking shrimp in there and they taste really, really good. So, and I also got bread comes to the FVCSC too. That's all I got guys. It was something simple, nothing crazy. I also got the paper towel and toilet paper and yeah. So that was it for today's little shopping excursion. I'm about to start cooking. I'm gonna cook something basic. You guys saw it last week. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. No point in me showing you guys how to make it because I already showed you guys how to make it before. So, gotta go.